So now we're going to be talking about cameras. So what we have here is a um, pretty much a fully manual um, cinema camera. And this is uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. There's also the 4K model, and they are both very good. And they have an amazing sensor and many features that we could spend hours talking about what we want. What we want to tell you is that we chose to go with this camera because of the image that it can produce, which is very cinematic, it uh, produces very beautiful images, and the sensor works really well on low light situations as well. Um, we outfitted the camera with a cage to protect it and also to mount accessories such as, as a, an external power supply and other things like microphones, etc., etc. Um, it's got a full touch screen. It's a big screen, so we don't need an external monitor to look what we're doing. And it, it accepts Canon type of photography lenses and other brands. In this case, we went with a 24 to 70 millimeter Canon lens, uh, because if you can only get the one lens, it should have a range that allows you to actually reframe and recompose your image without switching lenses. And remember, each lens costs money. So when you buy a zoom, it's basically buying several lenses in one. In this camera, you can record internally or externally. It's up to you. And uh, uh, the menu system is just about one of the easiest ones in the industry right now. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, you have a variety of options, and it has an extremely responsive touch screen, which is very color accurate, actually, to change your uh, white balance. All you have to do is touch that feature. You can set it up manually, or you can go and access some of the built-in presets, in this case, outdoor, and you can see how the temperature changes uh, indoors and in the shadows on a cloudy day, et cetera, et cetera. Or you can simply do it manually and get the right white balance. So doing that in many other cameras, it would probably involve navigating through several layers of menus. You want to change your shutter speed. There you go very easy. You want to change your frame rate, you can change your frame rate. So uh, when it comes to navigating the menu, it takes all the stress out of the equation and make the experience uh, more enjoyable and more productive for you or any of your volunteers. On the downside, um, um, autofocus feature is not very reliable. Uh, I personally, we personally here never use it. Um, my advice would be if you go with a more uh, cinema camera type is get, get ready, be prepared to actually, you know, have that hand on that focus ring often. Um, but in a way, that also gives us that creative control that we can play with uh, the focus and focus the, 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 the lens on what we want to show and not what the camera thing things we need to show. And so that's the difference between full manual and automatic. Um, if you, by any chance, feel a little bit overwhelmed uh, or intimidated by something that is fully manual, um, there are other options that are easier for the first time user, depending on what you want. A fully manual um, camera uh, gives you a lot of creative freedom and you dictate to the camera what you want, and then that happens. But if you're not ready for that step yet, it's absolutely fine. Um, maybe you don't need that, maybe you don't want that. So there's, there's uh, uh, at least one more option that we'd like to share with you, and um, that would be a, a camcorder. So basically a camcorder, and I'm not talking the basic $300 camcorders for the barbecue, backyard barbecue or pool party. 
I'm, I'm talking about a camcorder that actually has professional level features. The beauty of this is that uh, it already comes with um, XLR level connections for your basic inputs, for your speaker, and maybe a guest, maybe some other form of uh, audio input. It comes, it's very comfortable to hold, it's not heavy. It has already a built-in screen, uh, which is, depending on the model, touch, which is great. And guess what? They usually have a, a very reliable, very dependable fire and forget autofocus system. So the lens is usually not interchangeable, but it's a very pow powerful zoom lens. Um, and it has a feature um, which is called parfocal, but basically what that means is that no matter what type of zooming you're doing in and out, you will always remain in focus. So as far as ease of use, it's a far cry from a fully manual cinema camera. It will give you a more video-like feature and less cinema-like um, look, but it is also an option for you. And you can actually go manual and operate the ring here manually. If you feel like you wanna have full control, uh, you can also access that. So just quickly mentioning that, um, because this is what you might work for you.